So Savannah, what is it like for you to be back home here at Farrington High School, at your alma mater, the gym you kind of grew up in? It gives me butterflies, it gives me chicken skin, just because like everything is, is still the same here. And just looking back at, you know, all the, the work and the games and the tears that happened here, it's, it's crazy. Savannah Kahakai's name will be etched in the UH history books and considered among some of the best defenders in Wahine history. But the legacy she leaves behind in Manoa actually began a few miles away in Kalihi at Farrington High School. My parents were really big on me in sports, so even if practice hours here, they would make me run around the school, run the buildings out there, three-story buildings. I would have to run the track. It was her upbringing in Kalihi that helped shape Savannah into the volleyball player and into the person she is today. For me, or like, you know, for some people that probably didn't live in Kalihi, they were probably looking at it as if it was a rough childhood, but honestly, it was, it was fun. I grew up in the housing, so everybody knew everyone. I didn't have a phone, so my thing was just to go outside and play until you heard your parents call you to come inside. As a symbol of her love and connection to her Kalihi roots and her family, Kahakai has a permanent reminder of the place she calls home. Me and all my sisters have it. So the Roman numeral is four, and then there's ever written inside. And the four stands for the housing that we grew up in. And the ever is just that me and my sisters will always be together forever. Nice job, everybody Jason that came in, nice job. Goye. But you guys have to believe that we're winning First tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Kakai was the first Farrington High School player to ever receive a full ride scholarship from the Rainbow Wahine, making her a local celebrity in the Kali community, with many that now see Savannah as a role model of what they too could become. People have came up to me and said, you know, thank you for um, representing, I think, the local community. And, you know, all the local girls out there, I've been pushing the issue of, you know, you guys can go anywhere, anywhere you put your minds to. Um, just keep working, fine-tuning your, your skills and school. School wasn't my big, wasn't my big area, you know, so I had to really work towards that. I'm just a regular local girl here and, and it's, it's good to, it's a good feeling to be a role model for some people out here, yeah.